Hello there, fellas. It's time to continue with the doll steam boiler. In today's episode, fire! <laughs> The basic construct is rather simple. You have a main tank from which there is an overflow pipe which doubles down as a handle and uh, on top you have the vaporizers and the pilot wicks and of course a filler screw. Um, the uh, vaporizers are going to become a little bit tricky and to be quite honest, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to make these yet. I have made one vaporizer before. Uh, I basically metal spun the upper part and soldered on a flat disc in the bottom. This time I am very tempted to metal spin the lower part as well and then fold the edge over onto the upper part because it looks more factory. A solder job, uh, it, you can tell it's homemade and <laughs> I do not want that. So um, yeah, I've got a rough drawing here with the critical dimensions and I'm probably going to be improvising. First up, however, as always, we need a base and uh, that's going to be the tank. So here is the loot. Now how the heck am I going to fold that over here? I'm a scat man. <laughs> Thank you. 
and that completes the burner. Now, every episode I ramble on about how I am, quote, very pleased with the success so far. I'm very happy with the results so far. I'm happy with how they turned out. I'm pretty happy with that. Very happy. <laughs> and I'm very happy with the results so far. However, this time I'm not 100% conform with that. Uh, I'm very thrilled that the idea of folding one piece onto the other worked at all. So that's a great success. Um, what I'm not pleased with is the proportions. If you ask me, then I should have remade these dimples in the middle and have them go up higher, like uh, this one does. Anyways, I'm not going to remake these guys. They were a lot of effort to make and, uh, you know, the dies that go with them too. So I would have to make new dies in order to get proper proportions. However, who knows, I might just be making another steam engine somewhere in the future. Well, from swarf thou was made, and to swarf thy shalt return. Metal to metal, and screws to screws. Um, may you rest in peace. For removing the zinc plating of these, a few of you suggested some sorts of acid, like for example vinegar, citric acid, or um, muriatic acid. And I think citric acid is a nice, you know, golden middle between the two extremes. I think vinegar would probably take a couple of days and a, a muriatic acid would just <laughs> dissolve everything including my lungs. So um, this is citric acid. I've used uh, three of these spoons on, what is this, half a liter maybe. And uh, we'll just slowly dissolve it and then add the sheet metals to it.
here are the feet which come below the base plate and which it will later sit on. It's one of those parts that's going to take longer to explain how they are made than to actually make them. Matter of fact, the machine is already working at it. Next up is the condensate tray, it'll go right here. That's it for this episode. How can I tell you ask? Well, because this was the last part in the folder. There is nothing else left. We've made the steps, we made the tubes. This is just the parts list. And this is the cover. We're done essentially. And um, there is bad news. Because having these parts nickel plated is going to take a while. The uh, shop that I usually let my stuff be done at has quite some troubles keeping up with their production due to several illness cases. And um, until then we'll have to wait. I contacted a couple of other galvanic works but uh, none is willing to do the work for me and I'm not willing to do it myself. So they told me they would probably be ready to take on the job after Easter. Until then, we'll have to wait with this one. It's not like I have plenty of other projects that are probably interesting for you to watch as well. And um, what I will leave you with is a test run of the burner, see if it actually does something. Well, see you guys next time. Bye bye. God, who the hell thought it would be a good idea to make this M4? Yeah. Oh, 
gosh, this is in the way too. Why couldn't whoever constructed this have just put this hole right here, nice and symmetrical in between? <sighs> what an imbecile. <laughs> I have to use my pocket burner to preheat the vaporizers on account of not having enough wick material for the pilot burners. And there's number one. And there we go.